Hello and welcome back to the New York Virtual Photo Salon. I'm LaVon Hall, your host for this event. Thank you for tuning in last time. I hope everyone enjoys such beautiful scenery and art. If you haven't seen it yet and the rest of our talented speakers, click on the links in the description. Also, leave us comments, subscribe, and like this channel. Super thrilled to have one of our very own salon members, Klaus Peter Stadz, as tonight's guest. He has an incredible eye for detail. Now sit back, enjoy the show, and thanks for watching. Hi everyone, my name is Klaus, and I like shooting abandoned stuff, and especially junk cars. Some of you may remember the presentation I gave some years ago at the Salon with photos from Old Car City, America's oldest junkyard. Ever since coming across the work of Troy Pava, a night photographer from San Francisco and attending a couple of his workshops, I've been hooked on shooting at night. So I started to travel out west because that's where the abandoned things are. First looking for cars and then for abandoned places in general, like the one you see here, a ghost town in the Eastern Sierra in California called Bodhi. With the time I started to include more of the night sky into my photos and the landscape, but I always maintained a preference for showing man-made leftovers of civilization in my photographs. Like you can see here in this photo which was shot in Death Valley. Or in the next one, which was also shot in Death Valley in a ghost town called Rhyolite. I also started a little project called Red, White and Blue, in which I light painted some of my subjects and the color of the American flag. So things were going well, I was having fun, and then came 2020. Like I assume many of you, I had already made plans of trips that I wanted to take and things that I wanted to shoot, but along came the pandemic and it all fell apart and I wound up stuck at home in Manhattan. I'm sure you remember that around this time last year we had the first COVID cases and that our governor issued a stay at home order, meaning that we were supposed to stay at home and only leave the house for a very limited amount of activities like grocery shopping. Fortunately, there was also an exception for exercise and I decided that for myself, exercise meant taking my camera and walking around. So that's what I did. And in order to avoid other people, as most were not yet wearing masks in the street at that time, I usually left the house at around 8 p.m. and walked around Midtown as far as I could get on foot for approximately two hours and took the photos that you see here. It may look to you like 3 a.m. even though I think Manhattan was never that quiet, not even as 3 a.m. But most of these photos were actually taken at around 9 p.m. There were times when things got a bit eerie, but after a while I found out that the people that were still out there after dark were mostly delivery guys or people walking their dogs. So you start to develop an instinct to stay clear of people that had neither a bicycle nor a dog with them. 
and I'm happy to report that I never got into any kind of weird situation. Now after shooting deserted streets and empty places for several weeks and months actually, I thought, now how can I get back into some real night photography? Well, first of course there's the moon. Here you can see it on July 4th over Brooklyn with some fireworks. And then I also tried my hand on shooting moon streaks, as you can see here, where you see the moon rising over Brooklyn in a 35 minute long exposure. Secondly, there is of course a lot of light pollution here in the city, but if you look very closely you can actually see stars in the sky. And when you can see stars then you can shoot star trails. And that's what I did. First on the East River and then here on the Hudson. And finally on clear evenings in Central Park. Lastly, as you may have already have noticed, I'm very fond of a particular lens that I own. It's a Nikon circular fisheye lens. Using this lens extensively around the city gave and still gives me the opportunity to find new angles on subjects that have otherwise been shot over and over again. Now we have 2021 and things are hopefully improving with more than 2 million people a day getting vaccinated. We will hopefully soon be able to travel again, shoot wherever we like and also meet again in person at the Salon. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you Lavon for putting together this virtual Salon every two weeks. Stay safe everyone and hopefully see you soon live and in person. Thank you, Klaus, for that colorful presentation. Love your motivation to continually capture some amazing city shots, and I hope it inspires others to do the same. Follow Klaus if you want to see more. So please give it a thumbs up, leave comments, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you all for tuning in and the New York Virtual Photo Salon Committee. I'm LaVon Hall, and we'll see you next time with some more engaging speakers.